What's up my achievement snappers, Mayhem Blizz, we're playing Tome for the 41000G. It's available on Xbox Game Pass, so if you've got that chap, pick this up. It takes around 2-3 to three hours to get the 41000G, so let's cut the nonsense and crack on. Controls can be a little bit fiddly when you begin, but you'll soon get used to them. So we press the A button to interact, we're going to head over to the backpack and pick that up with the A button. And then when we want to go into a new area, we head over to the arrow and interact with that. Interact with your Nana then, mash through the dialogue, and we're going to select the excited option. She's going to show us the photo album. And at the end of this dialogue then, we'll receive the camera. So to use your camera then, press the Y button and hit the right trigger to snap a photo. We can take a picture of anything here, it doesn't matter. We're going to press the A button to save the photo to your album and B button to stop using your camera. Interact with Nana, select the photo that you just took and we'll unlock the beginning achievement for 15 gamer score. Head on outside then and interact with this Donny. Select yes and we'll receive the community card. This holds all of our tasks. So each area we need to find all the compendium photos. Whip out your camera then and snap a picture of the Tato on top of this information sign. Uh, you will know you snapped a photo correctly as the name of them will appear on the picture. Head over here and snap a picture of the cow. And then we can snap a picture of one of these home birds as well. You may need to get a little distance from them so you, they stay on the ground. Head over to this apple and snap a picture of the flies around it. And each area has a specific site for us to snap a photo of. So for this area, it is our house, and that will net you the home sweet home achievement for 15 gamer score. So speak to Nana to unlock a task, and the task is gonna to be to snap a photo of Nana. So snap a photo of her, interact with her again, Select the photo from your album, and then that task is done. Head round the back of the house then to find some clogs. Uh, so this is one of the clothing items. We need to wear all of the clothing items uh, for an achievement. Uh, so you may as well equip them straight away or you can select and wear them all at the end of the game. It's up to you. And then we're going to speak to the bearded Donny here next to the apple. And the task here that he will give us was to um, obviously find and open the present, which we've already done. So task done. So the last task for this area we can only complete when we've completed the game essentially. So speak to the guy at the information desk to get your free bus ride and we can head over to catch a bus to a new area. Select Oakleville and off we pop. Speak to this guy at the information desk. Then snap a photo of this butterfly or what looks like a flying hot dog and then head to the next area. So on the right hand side we can snap a photo of this snail.
and then further up just outside the building we can snap a photo of this forest bird and you'll see directly above on the building is a stag beetle we can get a photo of and then head over to this right hand side and we can take a picture of Tom And then we're going to do a 180 and aim at the birdhouse on the building and a nest worm will appear for us to take a photo of. And then we can head over to the monkey and press A on him to pet him and this will give us the who's a good boy achievement for 15 gamer score. And then we can head over to the snail and take a seat on the log and we need to wait for the snail to cross the finish line on the left hand side which takes a few minutes so don't press anything and wait for the slow and steady achievement to pop for 15 gamer score. Once that's done then, speak to this guy on the bench to unlock a task, as well as speaking to this guy to unlock another task, and then we're going to head inside the building. So speak to this free haired Donny on the right hand side, and he will give us a task, and then next to him on the left we can snap a photo of this horse. There is another pet for us to take a photo of on the front desk. This is Oscar the cat. And then in this area, if you look straight up in your camera, there is a secret. Look at it long enough and this will reveal a photo of the development team and the You Found Us achievement for 25 game score. And then lastly then, hit the bell at the front desk to wake the owner and speak to the guy to get another task. Moving on then, head to the area to the left hand side. In this area we can snap a photo of this squirrel. And then once you snap that photo, underneath the stairs we can snap another photo of this cube. This will reveal a mushroom house. Once that's landed, we can head inside the mushroom house and then we can take a photo of this tato bug on the left hand side sitting on the rock. Obviously, I took a photo there, but the label didn't come up, so I need to take another. After that then, you can open this present on the right hand side and inside the present will reveal a cowboy hat. Again, it's up to you if you want to equip that now or later. Head on outside up the stairs. In the next area, we can speak to this guy next to this tower. He'll want us to play hide and seek and find his friends. So select yes and interact with the view tower. Uh, they're pretty easy to find. There is one in the center out in the open. There is one on the right hand side behind a tree. And there is one at the top of the tree slightly off center to the left. And the last one is on the left hand side behind a rock. And that is task done. But stay on the tower for the moment as we want to snap a photo of this other guy. And we'll need that for a task later on. Once that's done, then press the A button to uh, jump off the view tower and head to the left hand side. We'll have a small cutscene and we will receive some glasses which allows us to see and talk to ghosts. So for these ones, we want to equip these straight away. After the dialogue then, look to the right and take a picture of Sero the dog. And then opposite the dog, we can see a horse ghost for a task. And then he wants, it's, he wants us to take a picture of a horse, 
which we took earlier. So select that and that task is complete. Once you've done that, then head inside the building and speak with this ghost on the sofa. Once you've got through that dialogue, we want to head upstairs and head outside and there'll be a photo of a tato fly that we can take. Once you've done that, we want to now head back. And now we're in this area and we've got our ghost glasses on. You will see this ghost here. Um, you want to speak with him and you want to play the shell game or what they call socks in a cup. So what you want to do is keep an eye on the socks, obviously, and select the cup that they are underneath. Uh, the location of the socks will be different for you. So unfortunately, you will have to play this one. You won't be able to just copy my selections. Complete all of those games until you complete it fully and get the stamp for it. And then we can head back and talk to the guy on the bench to return his missing sock to complete that task. After interacting with certain people or completing their tasks, they will sparkle. If you snap a picture of them, you will unlock that specific achievement. So for this one, um, snap a picture and you will unlock the Just the Sock achievement from 15 Gamer Score. And then uh, after that, behind this building is another clothing item we can get. Now we can head back to the skeleton guy who gave us the ghost glasses as he will be calmed down by now and he will also be sparkling. So snap a photo of him and that will get you the calm down achievement for 15 gamer score. And then we're going to head all the way back and to the right hand side. And there will be a cube for us to snap uh, between these trees. Once you've taken a picture of that cube, it will reveal a cute rock. So there we go then. Cube has been taken a photo of and a rock has spawned in. I'm going to head over to that rock and nab a photo of him. So then after that then head on upstairs and we're going to interact with the scout leader to unlock that task. I'm just going to say yes to that and get through the rest of the dialogue. And then after that, then on the right hand side of the lodge, you can snap a photo of this ladybug. And then after that, we're going to head back down the stairs and to the right hand side. So in here, we're going to snap some more photos. We're going to snap a photo of this beehive. And then in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to interact with this flower cardboard cutout. We're going to whip your camera out, zoom in and snap a picture of this monster. So this monster only appears when we're hiding behind the cardboard cutout. So what we also want to do is use our camera and we're going to flip the camera around with the Y button and take a snap uh, of ourselves while on the cardboard cutout. Once we're off of this cardboard cutout, 
Just make sure to grab a photo of these mushrooms in the bottom left hand corner. I nearly went on, but it's these mushrooms, these stripy looking mushrooms. So once you've got that, we can head out of this area and we're going to interact with this bouncer. Now he will let you in based on the clothing items you are wearing. So if you don't get let in, just make sure you have the same item items as me, the foam finger and the cowboy hat. Once you get let in, take a snap of the DJ and that will complete a task for you. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head all the way back to the lodge. So under the stairs then, there is a axe, so make sure to grab a photo of that. Obviously these ones don't need labels, these are just pictures for uh, specific tasks. Another two photos we need is one of a tree and one of a rock. So I'm just going to take a picture of this rock and tree here. And then head on up, speak to this guide, and show him the photos of the axe, the rock, and the tree to complete his task. After this then, let's speak to the camera in the bin in the top right hand corner and show him a picture of the suspicious person we found during the hide and seek task. After that then head up and interact with the porcupine to activate his task. We need to find his brothers and sisters. Head down and we're going to take a picture of this ant before leaving this area. At the lodge then, on the roof of this lodge is one of the porcupines, so get your camera out and hold the camera on him. After that we're going to head left. And if you remember, inside this building is a porcupine on the right hand side. Next to the Donny with the free hairs. And then we're going to go to the beginning area. On top of the information building is the last porcupine. And then before we leave this area, just take a snap of these dandelions. And then we're going to head back to the first porcupine to turn in the task. To head up into the new area and interact with this pelican looking thing, obviously we're going to select all of the left prompts as usual. And then after that then we're going to snap a photo of these cube looking flowers. And then once you've done that we're going to head up here near this camera sign which indicates there is a site that we can take a photo of. So whip your camera out and take a photo of this hotel building. 
and that will also unlock you the a majestic hotel achievement for 15 gamer score. And then after that, then we're going to head back to the scout leader to turn in some photos that we've got. The photos that you need to turn in are the cube flowers, the dandelions, and the striped mushrooms. And that's that task done. We're now going to head back to the hotel. Outside the hotel is a guide for us to turn in some more photos. This time he wants to see uh, an animal, so we need to go over to the animal tab and show him the picture of the ant. And that will also get us the nature's showstopper achievement for 25 gamer score. After that then head inside the hotel to speak with the pelican again and that will complete another task. And then lastly, we can speak to the hotel owner and show him the picture of the site of the hotel we took, and that will complete his task. And those are all of the tasks that we can currently complete in Oakleville, so we're gonna head back to the information building and collect your free bus ride. So go to the bus stop and select the new area Stanham. And you'll get the set sail for good weather achievement for 15 gamer score for visiting this new area. So same again then, we're going to speak to the guy at the information desk and then let's head on. So take a picture of this suspicious guy under the bridge and then we're going to snap a photo above him of the seagull and then a photo of the fisherman. Make sure to take a picture of him when the music notes are visible. So then after that then go speak with the fisherman to gain his task and then after that head down here under the bridge to the right hand side is a Tato swim picture we can get. And then heading back up, we can head into this building and speak to this guy on the right hand side and he will give you some frames and filters. And then what you want to do for this task is bring up the camera, hit the left trigger to uh, see your frames and filters, select any one of these, it doesn't matter which one. You're going to press the B button to come out of the frames and filters selection and then snap a photo of anything with the filter on. And then we're going to, I'm just going to take the filter off here as well. And then I'm going to speak with the guy again and show him the picture we just took with the filter on. And that will complete that task. So then we're going to head out and to the left. And you're going to snap a photo of this bubble fly. And then over the opposite side then, we can snap a photo of this toad. And then head into the next area and we're going to take some more pictures. So take a picture of this hippo when she covers her eyes. We're then going to come down to the beach area and we're going to take a picture of the sand. And then rotate it slightly and we're going to take a picture of this ice cream chilling in the boat. 
So now if we head back, we can speak with this guide and show him the three photos we just took. Now that task is done, we can head back into that area and speak with this guy chilling on the beach. This task requires us to snap a photo of this cube in the sea. And that will move this block, removing the shade from this guy. Speak with him again and that task will be complete. So then over here then on this rock is a crab we can take a photo of. Up here then is a photo of the monster we can get. What we have to do for this one is we have to set our tripod down. We can do that by holding left on the D-pad. So once you've set that down, hide behind this electrical unit on the left hand side. That will allow the monster to come up. Once he's come up, get your camera out as usual and the angle will be from the tripod's perspective. So snap a photo of the monster and then once you've done that, we can head to the next area. So speak with this guy after the cutscene and then head inside the lighthouse. After this dialogue, we can open the present to the right hand side and then we can interact with the ladder once that's done. Once at the top of the lighthouse, then interact with him again. And then we're going to head to the edge here and open up our camera. And we're going to take a photo of the tornado. Once you've done that, show the picture of the tornado to the guy. And then we're going to be tasked with spotting some boats now. So we need to head back to the edge and get our camera out and spot some boats. Um, once the lightning strikes, that will reveal their sort of location. Uh, so there's one dead center. And then you can see that the flash of the lightning highlighted the two boats over to the right hand side. So we can highlight both of these. And then the last boat is bottom left. Once you've completed that task, you will get the honk attachment. We need this to clear some paths and to complete some other tasks. Head out of the lighthouse then and head over to these seagulls blocking your path. We can get our camera out, press the A button to honk them out of the way. So now we're going to interact with this cone head Donny to get his task. And then we're going to head over the right hand side to open this present. And then opposite the present we can grab another photo of another pet. And then once you've done that we can head back. So in this section then we need to grab another selfie in this cardboard cutout I almost uh, forgot. And then when you get to this section, we need to wake up the pirate with our horn attachment to receive a key from him. And then we can use that uh, in a treasure chest. So we want to head back to the right. No. 
Interact with this lady and grab a photo of her while she's leaping to get the a sparkling jump achievement for 15 gamer score. And then head up to this raft and honk away these seagulls attacking this guy and we can depart to a new area. So then off of the raft over to the right hand side we can interact with this ghost to get a new task. And then just on the right of him we can grab a photo of a dragonfly. So now we want to head back up the ramp and inside the building and then directly in front of us when we enter the building is a present and inside that present of course is another clothing item. So up the ramp we can interact with this worker for another task and then what we need to do for this task we need to take a selfie, interact with the empty photo frame on the wall and then select our selfie from the photo album and that will get us the Employee of the Month achievement for 25 gamer score. So now head all of the way over to the right hand side and interact with this worker. So once this is open we need to use our camera to hover and turn this light on and then we need to point the camera at these broken components. So this cog directly in the middle which has a shoe on it this pipe on the right hand side, the duck in the bottom right hand corner, the bolt in the middle on the ground, and then the wires on the left hand side. And that will be that worker's task completed. So once you've completed that task, interact with this worker on the bridge. And then after his dialogue, you want to whip out your camera and use the honk attachment. The worker will fall in the water. So what we want to do is head after him. We're going to head outside, down the ramp and on the bridge. And you'll be able to interact with him from here. And that will complete his task. So now that is done, we are going to head up and to the right. We're going to interact with this guide and show him the selfie that we took with the last cardboard cutout. And you'll get the calm as the C achievement for 25 gamer score. And that's for completing all of the photo challenges in this area as well. So after that then we're going to cross over this bridge and interact with the robot in this flower bed. And we're going to show him the photo of the suspicious person that we took at the very start of the area. And that will complete his task. Just to the right then we're going to interact with this ghost and we can complete his task by simply taking a photo of the sun and then we're going to show him that picture. Next area then, take a photo of this well-dressed seagull for the flight ready achievement for 15 gamer score. And then after that we're going to head up here, interact with this barrel, and we will be tasked with locating all of the garbage in the sea. So there's five pieces, straight off the bat you can point to these two pieces from up here. And then another two pieces next to the well-dressed seagull. And once you've located those five pieces, you can interact with the barrel again and completing that task. Down the ramp then and to the right and you will find a chest with a diving helmet in it. Uh, be sure to equip this now as we require it to complete one of the tasks coming up. 
So head down and into this area. We can take a picture of this cat after the cutscene. Right in front of us. And then once you've done that, interact with this guy next to the cat. He will want us to locate a dog. And then just down from this guy to the left, you'll find a swan in the water. So take a picture of him. And then back up and to the right, you can find a present for another clothing item. And then we want to go across the bridge and we can find another cat located on this barrel. And then down this path then and make your way around to interact with the snowman. And then what we want to do here is show the picture of the fisherman whistling uh, to the snowman. And that will get us a cassette and a stamp. So once you've got that then we're going to head back up to the left. And left again. And then we're going to honk away these seagulls and pick up the sandwich. And we're basically going to head back to the beach because we're going to use our diving helmet. So to the left here we're going to clear these seagulls now with the honk attachment. We're going to interact with this manhole cover and then we'll be in our underwater section. So we can open this chest with the key that we got from the pirate. That will open it automatically and we'll obtain the pirate tat. So a few pictures we want to take here. We've got five pictures to take. One of that jellyfish there. A picture of this Tato scuba next to this rock and this boat. A picture of a seahorse and a picture of these happy carp. And then the last picture, obviously lastly uh, near this camera sign, which means there is a site nearby. We can take a picture of this smiling huntsman and that will give us the a voyage underwater achievement for 15 game score. Once you're done with the underwater area, make sure to equip the pirate hat here as we do have to give it away to the pirate. So yes, please, please, equip the pirate hat here. So once you've equipped it, before you leave this area, pet this dog and he will follow you. This is the man's missing dog that we need. Um, and then down to this area. And then we're going to honk to wake the pirate. And yes, to swap the hats. And that will get that task complete. Head over to the right hand side as we now want to find the guy who lost his dog to complete his task. Back past the beach to the lighthouse section. Clear the path once again. Stand next to the cone head and we need to select our cassette player. In here we need to select the fisherman whistle cassette that we received from the snowman. That will initiate this cutscene, and once that cutscene is finished, it will complete the task. Right 
We can also capture a picture of the kingfish here. You can take a picture of it in the air or once it's landed, it doesn't matter. So now we want to head all the way back to the fisherman to show him the kingfish photo we just took. One more task for this area then, we want to use the raft. We are going to deliver the deluxe sandwich that we picked up earlier to the goat. This will also get you the Seaworthy achievement for completing all quests in this area for 25 gamer score. So now we've completed all the quests, we're going to head back to the beginning to speak to the guy at the information desk to get the free bus ride. So interact with the bus stop after that, and then we're going to head to Log City. And then when you arrive at Log City, you'll get the big city achievement for 15 gamer score for visiting this area for the first time. So once here then, we're going to go up and speak to this guy on the bench for a task. And then once you've done that, we're going to speak to the guy at the information desk. And then just left of him, we need to grab a photo of this graffiti on the escalator. So we do need to make sure that it's all in view when you grab this one. Once you've done that, we're going to head up the right escalator. And then we've got a few things to do here. So we can obtain the site for this area right away. We're going to go on this raised platform here and snap a photo of this building. And that will get you the grand clock tower achievement for 15 gamer score. And then head down here and we're going to take a picture of this pigeon. And then once you've done that, if you look up and you can snap a photo of this cat uh, to complete a task. And then just left a bit then, there is a graffiti on the wall that we can take a photo of. And then on the left of us is a guy on a bench that we need to talk to for a task. Over the right hand side we're going to interact with this lady next to this table. And then for this task what we need to do is snap a photo of her and her hot dog in the same frame. And then just show her the photo. After that then we're going to speak to the guy at the hot dog stand to get a task and we'll also receive a hat. Basically for this task we need to speak to three specific people while wearing the hat to encourage them to eat at the hot dog stand. So make sure you equip the hat straight away and then after that we're going to head to the right hand side. In this area is the same lady that we spoke to before, but we need to grab a photo of her and her burger and chips in the same frame. <laughs> My first photo didn't count, uh, so do a better job than I did. After that then you can take a photo of her as she is sparkling and that will get you the 100 followers achievement for 15 gamer score. After that then we're going to head inside the cafe and we're going to take a picture of a mouse. Uh, once you've got a picture of the mouse we need to honk at each of them to scare them off. So double check that you've got the picture of the mouse first uh, before honking them off.
So once you've honked all of the mice, you will complete a task and receive a cinnamon bun from the worker. Once you've got the cinnamon bun, we can head outside and snap a photo of this doggo. Once we have got the picture of the dog, we can head right and speak with this guy. Uh, and a cutscene will happen with a frisbee being taken away from him. So after that cutscene has happened, we can take a picture of the graffiti eyes on the wall as well. And then once we've done that, we're going to head uh, back and we're going to give the cinnamon bun to the guy that we spoke to on the bench. He will start to throw bits of bun out to feed some birds. You want to get a little distance from him to allow the bird to come down. So obviously I made the mistake of being too close, that's why the bird's not coming down. So take a couple of steps back and then you can see the bird come down here and then snap a photo of it. So now we're going to head all the way to the right hand side. Once you get to this area, we're going to snap a photo of the skull on the floor. And then after that, we're going to interact with this manhole cover for a task. And then after that, from here, we can take a picture of this cube attached to this building. And that will complete the sewer task. Speak with the guy to the left to get his task and then we're going to speak with the ghost just up to the right and she will want us to take her on a good date and we'll do that shortly. So she follows us around but we're going to go up here into this art exhibition and speak with the guy inside. So once you've spoken to him, interact with this piece here as well and then once we've got through all of the dialogue we can leave. So then we want to head over to the left hand side. We're going to speak with Granny here to get her task. And then we're going to speak with this guy next to Granny to send him to the hot dog stand. So come over here to the left hand side and interact with this table and that will complete the ghost task for taking her on a nice date. And after that, we're going to go up these stairs. This is the robot, but we can't actually give him the photo that he needs yet because we don't have a picture of the suspicious person. Just up these stairs behind the building is a present for another clothing item. And then up the other stairs is a viewpoint. We can snap a photo of another cube and this will flip Granny's car and complete her task. So now we can head to the left hand side and speak with this guy to receive their task. And then we're going to head down the stairs and just under this bridge is a photo of some graffiti cheese that we can grab a photo of. So moving on then, we can find this suspicious person under these stairs, so snap a photo of him. And then we're going to head up those stairs and interact with the guy to send him to the hot dog stand. After that we're going to whip out our camera as the bird who took the frisbee is in this tree. And then we're going to head down and then pick up the frisbee that's in the car park. A couple of photos here then we want to snap a photo of this guy confused next to his motor. And then also there is a turtle in the car park that we can take a photo of. After that we're going to speak with this ghost and we need to show him the picture of the hotel in Oakleville.
And then just before we leave this area, we can snap a picture of Granny driving her motor. Again, you can stop traffic when approaching the zebra crossing. And on the building opposite, we can snap a picture of another piece of graffiti. So we're gonna head into this news building and speak with the guy in here. You will receive the reporter hat, which we need to equip now as we're gonna get the tasks out of the way. So a photo we can grab straight away is his moustache. So whip out your camera and take a picture of his moustache and then show it to him. And then we can head out and to the right hand side. And we can show the robot the picture of the sus person. So we're now going to head into this building and we're going to speak with the bouncer. Um, make sure you've got your reporter hat on as he won't let you pass unless you've got it on. And then we're going to interact with this lady here and she'll say that she doesn't like your hat. So make sure to change it to the hot dog hat and interact with her again. After that tiny cutscene then and that bit of dialogue, head back out and to the end of the catwalk. And then once the model comes out wearing your hot dog hat, you can snap a photo of her. Once you've got the photo, we're going to head back into that room to talk to the lady again and that will complete her task. We are then going to go back to the news building as we've got all the photos we need now. It was just the moustache picture and the catwalk photo. Remember, we need to put our reporter hat on as he only speaks to us if we've got that on. I made the mistake of trying to talk to him with the hot dog hat and he had none of it. So speak with him again, show him the photo of the catwalk and that will complete his task. Once you complete that task, get your hot dog hat back on. And then we're gonna head up. And the last customer that we need to speak to is located here. And then we're ready to turn that task in. So in this area, just behind here, in this little alleyway, is a picture of Tato Skateboard we can take a picture of. Obviously, wait for that label to come up. And then we're going to head to the right, and it's time for us to turn in all of the graffiti photos that we have taken. So we're going to speak with this guy, and we're going to show him the graffiti of the dog, the cheese, the skull on the floor, the eyes on the wall and I think we had two two more so the splat on the wall as well and the escalator we only need to show him five so we had one extra I think After that task is done then we're going to head back and set up our tripod next to this manhole. Remember that's left on the d-pad to do that. We're going to head up on this platform and that will allow the monster to appear and then we can snap a photo of him. Uh, and it doesn't matter that our camera is muddy so don't worry. And then we are also, so we need to take our tripod back. You can do that with the left on the d-pad again. And then we need to snap a photo of this girl while she's grinding this rail. So speak with this taxi driver and he'll take you back to the cafe. Once back here we can interact with this guy again and we can give him back his frisbee. And 
then in the next area we can show this guy the confused person next to his car. And then up into the art exhibition, we can take a picture of this guy with the mud filter on. And then what we want to do is we want to open up our album and we need to edit that photo that we just took. And then we need to call the photo something. So edit it and you can put in anything here. I just put in Y because it was the first letter that was on the keyboard. And then once you've done that, we can show him the photo and that will be his task complete. So head on outside and we're going to snap a few more photos. So snap a photo of this business pigeon sitting on this car. And then to the left hand side we can grab another photo of this Tato tourist reading a newspaper here next to this car. Uh, so we don't quite have all of the photos to show this guide yet, so we're going to head back. And then head back down. We're going to head into the bus station. And we're going to interact with the guy on the bench again. So he will clean your camera for you, and that will complete his task. And after we've done that, he will be sparkling. So snap a photo of him and we'll get the a new job achievement for 15 gamer score. After that, then we want to head back up and we need to try and take a photo of five living things in one photo. Now I've done a bit of a cut here as I struggled with this one. So what you want to do is sit yourself slightly on this raised area here and make sure to get three of the pigeons in the picture and the rest of the running workers and that should work. Now I would recommend taking a few photos here just to save you coming back here if he doesn't accept your photo. So then over here we want to interact with a hot dog stand owner to hand in our task that we completed earlier. Over to the right hand side then. I'm taking the long way around here, but we're going to hand in our last task. We're going to interact with the guide here. And we're going to show him three photos. The girl grinding on the rail. The photo of the granny in her car. And then the five living things. Uh, so obviously you'll need to head to the animal tab for this one as the pigeons will be in the picture. So that's all of the photo challenges completed for the city professional achievement for 25 gamer score. And that's all of the quests completed in this area for the business executed achievement for another 25G. So now that's all done, you know what to do. We're going to head back to the information desk. We're going to get our free bus ride and we're going to head to the next area. So head to the bus stop and we're going to travel to Kiraberg. And then we'll also get another 15 gamer score for visiting this new area. So speak to this guy at the information desk again and then after that we're going to head up and to the left. We're going to interact with this sign here and then we're going to sit on the bench. After that we're going to interact with this guy on the left of the ice and he will give you some climbing boots. 
you want to equip these right away as we're going to use them to head up some of these platforms. So equip those. And then interact with these ropes to head up the platforms. Once you get to the top, we need to take a picture. So whip out your camera and take a picture of this snowball. After you've done that, we're going to head back down. And we're going to take a picture of the snowman here. And then behind the snowman, we can take a picture of this pictograph on the wall. And then after that, we're going to interact with the old man again. And we're going to show him the picture of the snowball we just took. After some dialogue, he will give you his hat, so make sure to equip it. And then after the dialogue again, we will follow after the old man in the building, as there is an achievement we can grab. So inside the building, you can see he is now sparkling. Take a photo of him, and you'll get the Happy Youth achievement for 15 gamer score. So now we're going to head over to the right hand side and speak to this balloon to get another task. And then in this area if you equip your camera you can take a picture of this goat. Make sure you get a picture of at least one goat before you complete that task. So we're then going to head up these steps and take a picture of this hedgehog. And then we're going to head back down the stairs inside this building and you can grab a photo of this cat on the bed. And then upstairs is another cat we can take a photo of on this table. So head upstairs and to the right hand side and we can interact with this Yeti cardboard cutout and take another selfie. After that, we want to take a picture of the snowbird. Uh, he is rather quick on the ice, so you will have to work on your timing. And then once you grab that up and inside this building, we can interact with a Bob Ross and he will give you a scarf. Equip that straight away. That's all we need from this room, so we can head back outside and interact with the ski lift. Once up here then, interact with this dude and receive some ski goggles. And again, equip this right away and you will receive the all geared up achievement for 15 gamer score. And then whip out your camera and take a picture of Tado Ski here. Again, you will have to work on your timing for this one. And then you have another opportunity here to take a picture of a goat if you missed this before. Uh, if not, just grab him for the task. So then we want to head into the next area and we can snap a photo of this fluff ball and then underneath this bridge there is another pictograph that we can take a picture of and then after that head right around here and you can grab this well hidden present it also contains a space helmet we want to equip this one straight away as we need it for a task and then we're going to climb the rope and head inside the observatory When you enter, you can take a picture of this Tato alien. And then we're going to interact with the Einstein looking dude. After that small cutscene, then we're going to head up towards the telescope and interact with it. And then we're going to aim it at this asteroid. Thank you.
Once that dialogue is done, we're going to head back over to the Tato alien and make sure you have your space helmet equipped. For me, I just needed to equip it here. And then you're going to whip your camera out and we need to take a selfie with the Tato alien as well as having the moon in the background. And that is task done. So we're going to head back out down the rope. And to the left. Take a picture of this owl. And next to this owl, you can also find our final goat for our task. And then head across the bridge and interact with this guide to get his task. And then we want to go down this rope and then you can take a picture of another pictograph. You can interact with the Yeti here and show him the fluff ball to complete his task, but we do need to come back here anyway. So head back down and then down the rope. And what we want to do is honk at this snowman. After the dialogue, we want to look to the left and we can take a picture of this pictograph on the wall. And then do a 180 and we can take a picture of these floating asteroids. I don't know what they are, uh, but just take a picture of one. And then we can take a picture of this crashed asteroid. Head inside this house and take a picture of this dog on the sofa. And that should be the last pet photo you need if you've been following along for the look at those cuties achievement for 50 gamer score. Head up this rope and interact with this guy to get his quest. And then head over here and interact with the snowball and the robot will appear. Head inside what looks like a bunker and then we can interact with this guy to get through all of the dialogue and cutscenes. After all of those cutscenes and that dialogue then, snap a photo of the light board above the guy that we just spoke to. And then we can head out of the bunker and down. Head down this rope. And then we want to snap a photo of this balloon animal. And then we want to head back up the stairs past the hedgehog to the right hand side. In this area then you can find and snap a photo of the torso of the snowman. And we can also snap a photo of the moon here for another task. Head back up the ski lift and you can locate the head of the snowman here. So snap a photo of that. And then after that, we're going to head back to the observatory to show Einstein the crashed asteroid. Back out here then and to the left. Across the bridge we want to show this guide the LED board that we took in the bunker.
and then head back down to the snowman man and show him pictures of the head and the torso of the snowman that we just found. And then up the rope and show this guy the balloon animal, the moon, and the full snowman that we took at the very beginning of this area. And you'll get the bigger hurdle achievement for 25 gamer score for completing all of the photo challenges in this area. So now we're going to head back to listen to the goat choir. Now we have returned all of those goats. So head down here to the left hand side. And then in this area we want to sit on the bench and that will be a task complete. So then we want to head over to the right hand side up this rope up this rope and then we want to use the honk attachment to clear these ice blocks so you also see that I unlocked the going long achievement for 50 gamer score for walking a thousand miles so you should unlock that pretty soon. So here is where the family's balloon child is located then. We're going to interact with him to pick him up. And then before you leave this area, we're going to honk this man free from the ice. And then what we're also going to do is we're also going to clear this ice blocking our path here. So once you get into this area, we're also going to clear this ice in the bottom area. And then we want to set up our tripod down here. And then we're going to hide behind this wall that we've just freed uh, from the ice. The monster will appear, so snap a photo of him. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head back. Here I decided to interact with the Yeti and show him the fluff ball. So remember this photo is in the animal tab. And then after that you can interact with the top left guy as well as he wants to find all of the pictographs. Uh, but we can't find all of them in this area, so we have to return. So instead of heading down this rope, head to the left. And up the rope and in this building. And interact with this guy that we saved from the block of ice. So after the dialogue, we can snap a photo of this cube in the top right hand corner. And then once that dialogue has finished, we can interact with him again, and he will create a portal for us.
you're going to want to head through that portal and we can take a picture of this deer and that will get you the collect them all achievement for 40 gamer score. And then after that then we want to return the balloon child back to his family. So get through all of the dialogue and head back to the information desk. We do have a pictograph task to complete but one of the photos that we need for that is located in the next area. So after that then head to the bus stop and select the mountain top. We'll get the so close now achievement for 15 gamer school when we visit this area for the first time. And then all we want to do here then is we want to head to the very top of the mountain. And then once you've got here, we want to look at the crystal and that will be the site collected and 25 gamer score. So we want to head back down. Once you get here, we can head down this rope for the last pictograph we need. And then once you've got that pictograph, we want to head back to the bus. So that will complete the base game then. Annoyingly we don't have the full 1000G yet as the DLC in the game is included in the 1000G. Uh, so no additional gamer score which is a bit of a bummer but we move. So after the credits then, you will be taken back home. We can head inside the house and show our grand the picture of the crystal that we took. And that will end the game. Once back at the title screen then, we're going to continue on with our adventure. And that's going to take us back to the house. In the living room then, we need to read this letter before we can leave. And that letter will give us the boat ticket to take us to the DLC area. But 
before we head to that area, we are going to complete our remaining tasks. So head to the bus stop then and head to Oakleville and head to the hotel. Here we are going to show this free haired Donny all of the monsters that we found. And then after that, then we are going to head all the way to the left and speak with the ghost on the sofa as we've completed all of the ghost tasks now. get the strong as an oak achievement for 25 gamer score for completing all of the tasks in this area. So once you've done that then we need to head to Stanham. We are going to head to the photo challenger in this building to fully complete that. I'm not sure if this one is actually required for any achievements, but we move. Once you've done that, then we're going to head to Kiraberg. We're going to head to the guy that wants to see all of the pictograph photos. Once you get to him, interact with him and show him the pictographs. Once you've interacted with this guy, you can just hit the buy command to skip all of the dialogue about each pictograph. After that, then you will get the a true completionist for 50 gamer score for completing all the quests in the base game. You also get the ice fighter achievement for 25 gamer score for completing all of the quests in this area. Uh, 
Uh, after all of the dialogue and you've showed him all of the pictographs, make sure to snap a photo of him as he is sparkling and you'll also get the a great story achievement for 15 game score for doing that. And then we can go into our infantry and select every clothing item to wear. Um, this will get us the cosplay achievement for 25 gamer score. And you don't have to leave the inventory. You can just simply click through all of the items, which is awesome. Head back to the bus then and head to Stanham again and this is where the boat is located. So we want to head to the right and down. And we'll also get the Tropical Paradise achievement for 15 gamer score for visiting this DLC area. So we're so close now guys, let's just smash out this last area and get that 4,000 feet. So straight away then we can snap a picture of this beak bird. And we can also snap a photo of this bitling tato which is on top of the information building sign. To interact with the guy at the information desk to receive the water popper attachment. So you, what you want to do is open your camera, you'll need to switch your attachment from the honk attachment by pressing the X button and then you can press the A button to fire water balloons. So feed this plant here until it says 1 out of 11 and then shoot this target here to lower the gates. In this next area, we need to speak to this cube man. I'm not too sure what he is, um, but speak to him and get his task. And then over here on the left hand side, we can feed this plant for 2 out of 11, and then feed the plant opposite for 3 out of 11. <laughs> And then in the middle, snap a photo of this water strider. And then we want to take a picture of the guy on the jet ski when he is in mid-air. So once you've got that, show the cube man and that will be his task done. And then over to the left hand side then, another plant for us to feed for 4 out of 11. And then we also want to shoot some water balloons at this tree to obtain the bean nut fruit. So shoot this balloon over here for 1 out of 11 and then snap a photo of the snake below it. And then you want to head inside this tent then and here is our Gran. After the dialogue with Gran, open up this present and then we can interact with the bed to take a nap. Oh. 
Come on. I see. Oh. I hope. Oh. I hope. Oh. After the nap then, head outside and then we want to equip the sunglasses filter and we want to take a picture of the moon. Uh, so remember left trigger to access your filters and then we want to take a picture of the moon with the filter on and that will be for the what's up achievement for 15 gamer score. And then after that we just want to unequip the filter as obviously we don't want to play the rest of the game with that filter on. And then after that you can take a photo of this mud frog and then we want to head back to the other area and then shoot this other balloon for 2 out of 11. And then we want to head over to the right hand side and shoot another inflatable for 3 out of 11. We can also shoot this tree here to obtain the Melanir fruit. And then in the next area then we can interact with this artist and we can sit on the stool in front of him, get your camera out, put it in selfie mode and take a selfie. And that will get you the self portrait achievement for 15 gamer score as we are the ones sparkling this time. So after that, interact with the artist again and show him the selfie. And then after that dialogue, take a picture of this castle for the site for this area. And that's for 15 gamer score. Just on the left hand side then we can shoot this balloon for 4 of 11. And then on the right hand side of the castle we can shoot this target and head inside the pipe. So once out of the pipe and over here then we can snap a photo of this bat. We can shoot this balloon for 5 of 11. And then we can also shoot the tree and obtain the banana kin fruits. And then once you've done that, we need to go back through the pipe. And we're going to head to the right hand side in this building. There's a plant in here for us to feed for 5 out of 11. And then we're going to take a nap on the bed. Back outside the building then after our nap we can shoot this tree and we can snap a photo of the Tato Coco. Kind of looks like a coconut, very well hidden. So then opposite him we can speak to this ice cream guy for his task and some ice creams will be made from the fruit that we've already collected. After that then we're going to head inside the castle, try and take a picture of anything in here and then this kid will get in the way of your photo. What we need to do is speak with him and give him an ice cream and that will stop him. Once you've stopped him, take a picture of the bittling mouse um, at this small castle. And then on the right hand side we're going to shoot this other balloon and then we're going to take pictures of all of these sand castles on the right hand side and then we're going to water this plant on the center table for six out of eleven and then over near this podium then we're going to interact with this lady on the right hand side and then we're going to place the pictures of the sand castles that we took in the photo frames so I selected the regular looking sandcastle first. Then the pyramid. 
and then the castle. After you've done that, interact with her again and it will initiate a cutscene. After the cutscene then, take a picture of the old geezer left of the podium as he is sparkling and that will get you the King's New Shirt achievement for 15 gamer score. Water this plant for 7 out of 11, and then we're going to head over here to the bed and take a nap. So, interact with this guy here near the cinema screen to get his task. And then behind him, we're going to shoot the tree to obtain the oregano fruit. And then we want to shoot out to the four flames surrounding the cinema screen and that will complete his task. So after that then head up here and take a picture of this night lizard and then we're going to head to the right down the ladder and right again and we're going to take a picture of this snout bug. And then back then, back up the ladder. And then we're going to go down this ladder. And then we can take a picture of a drill mole. And then what you want to do here before heading back up is you can shoot a balloon at this mermaid to complete her task. And then she's going to sparkle, so snap a photo of her while she's sparkling and that will get you the moonlit beauty achievement for 15 gamer score. After that then we're going to head back up and take another nap. And then once we have woken up, we're going to head to the left hand side and we're going to take a picture of this bitterling frog before entering the circus tent. Once we're inside the tent, then we're going to speak with this guy in the middle. And then what we need to do is we need to win all of the mini games in this tent to open up the prize boxes in the middle. Behind this guy, we can shoot this balloon for six out of 11. And then opposite there is a plant that we can feed for eight out of 11. So let's interact with the first machine to start the first mini game. And then in this mini game, what we need to do is we need to shoot the targets, but make sure your aim is on point as you do lose 25 points for every miss. Once you've won that mini game, then we're going to head on to the next one, interact with this machine and this mini game. What we need to do is select the face in the grid that matches the face on the left. 
A pretty simple one. And the last mini game then, this one is a generic rhythm game. So we need to just hit the bar when it reaches the top of the bottom bar. And then once you've done that, once you've won all of those mini games, you'll get the Pro Gamer achievement for 15 Gamer Score. And then we want to speak with the guy in the middle to complete his task. And then we want to use the tickets that we've won to open the center and the left box. So we need the clothing item in the middle one, so just make sure you open that one. So outside of the circus tent we go and then we're going to head up and interact with this kid to get his task. And then up again we're going to interact with this guy to receive the pickaxe. And we need to help this guy get all of the remaining dinosaur bones. So here we can take a picture of the lizard again as it is the day lizard instead of the night lizard. And then we're going to head down the ladder, take a picture of this fried egg, and then opposite the fried egg is going to be another balloon for us to shoot. So after that we want to head back and take a nap. Once you wake up, head back up again, use the pickaxe on this guy, and you'll get the Viking helmet and his task completed. We're going to head back down the ladder and use the pickaxe here and what we're going to do is snap a picture of this dinosaur bone. So interact with the dino man to show him the photo of the dinosaur bone. Uh, and he will go collect it. We still need a few more bones to collect, but you might as well hand this one in. So after that, head over to the right-hand side then. And we're going to take a picture of this spittling snail on this bamboo. Around from that then you can shoot this target and use the pipe. 
Once you exit the pipe, you can shoot this inflatable balloon. And then after you've done that, you can take a picture of this spooky looking tree. Back through the pipe we go then, and we're going to head down and interact with this guy. He wants to see pictures of all of the bitterling animals we took. So go to the animal tab and show him the bitterling frog, potato, snail, and the mouse. Once you've done that then we're going to head up this ladder and shoot the tree and take a picture of the cocoa crab. Back down the ladder then and this will be the flower pot 9 of 11. And then down the ladder to the right we can grab another balloon for 10 out of 11. Head inside this cave and we can water another plant for 10 out of 11. Then in the corner, we can use our pickaxe to find a chest. Interact with the chest to get another clothing item. Over to the right hand side from here then, we can grab a photo of this glow worm. And then we want to use our water balloons to break this wall. Once that wall is broken, we can use our pickaxe and that will reveal a door. Head through the door and that will take us to a secret area. So in this secret area then, we can take a picture of the spider in the right hand corner. And then what we want to do is shoot all of the four flames in this room to reveal the controls to the puzzle. So then the sequence to completing the puzzle is left, left, up, right, down, right, down, left, up. And then once you've done that, it will fill the middle tile. And then you can snap a photo of that for the Tato King. So head out then and interact with this book for another task. This task, it wants us to free or shoot three bats. So there is one in this cave, so be sure to shoot that one. So then we can head out of the other exit of the cave and then out of the here we can take a picture of this firefly uh, and that will get you the and some more achievement for 25 gamer score for taking photos of all of the creatures and then we want to head around here up the ladder to shoot the last balloon Oh, no. 
And then down the ladder, we can feed this last flower pot as well. And then just off this edge here, we can shoot this guy on the rubber dinghy. And that'll be for the splish splash achievement for 15 gamer score. And then over this bridge then, we can interact with this guy for an empty water bottle. And then we can fill this water bottle up at this water fountain. And then we're going to return it and interact with the guy again. And then just before following him out of this area, we need to fill up the water bottle again once more. And then once you've done that, then we're going to head out. So head up this ladder and interact with him again. And then before following him another time, we're going to head back to the starting area. And then up this ladder, we can use the pickaxe here and we can find another dinosaur bone to snap a photo of. back then we can head over to this monkey what we're going to do is switch attachments to honk him awake and then we're going to interact with him to give him an ice cream after that interact with this lady to turn in the flower quest that we've completed And then before leaving, we want to fill up our water bottle again. And then we're going to head after that guy. So interact with him and he will enter the building to the right hand side. Follow him and interact with him and that is his task completed. Head out then and honk or shoot this bat. You can use the pipe again if you do struggle to get him from here, but you should be able to. And then just before we take a nap here, head down this ladder and use the pickaxe here and snap a photo of this other dinosaur bone. Once we wake up, we're going to interact with this ice cream man for the last time to complete his quest. And then we're going to head over to the left hand side. So interact with this kid and show him the picture of the firefly. This will be in the animal tab. So there is an achievement here. So we can equip the sun hat, the vacation shirt and the flip flops. Unfortunately, I did forget to pick those flip flops up, but don't worry, we'll go get those in a moment. And then what we're going to do is take another nap. And then honk or shoot the last bat here. And then head up here, interact with this guy and show him the remaining dinosaur bones. And that will be the head and the foot. 
Uh, so like I said, apologies, here is where I missed the flip-flop, so what we need to do is head back. the pickaxe here and open the chest and equip the flip-flops. So once you've got all that equipped, we need to head back to this area and then we're going to sit on the sun lounger for the maximum vacation achievement for 15 gamer score. And then we're going to interact with this guy and show him the picture of the spooky looking tree. And then we need to head back to the cave and turn that bat task in. So once you've turned that bat task in, there will be a vampire that appears. He wants some ice cream, which we already have. So that will be the final task completed. And that will get you the a Vikings holiday achievement for 25 gamer score. And that's it then, guys. That was the full 1000G. I hope you managed to follow that all okay. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you could help me get to 2K subs, that would be awesome. And I'll keep dropping videos like this. Uh, take care guys, and I'll see you in the next one.